Hello guys, today we are gonna uh, we are gonna find out what is the formula for the angle of intersection of two curves. Okay, so first first of all, let me tell you what is the angle of what is the angle we are talking about when we are saying the angle of intersection of two curves. So the angle of intersection of two curves is defined to be the angle between the tangents to the to these two curves at the point of intersection. So what I mean by that, let me show you by that graph. Okay, let these be your x and y axis, and this be okay, and this will one be your first curve that is denoted by c1 okay and uh, let us suppose this one is your second curve c2 okay uh, okay so now so th they are they are intersecting at point o okay this point so our first curve is c1 let us draw the tangent to it at this point so it will be like this okay uh, and our second curve is c2 let us draw the tangent at this point to c2 this will be our like this okay so i said the the angle of intersection of two curves is defined to be the angle between the tangents so we have we, we have got our tangents to both of these curves at, at the point of intersection okay so this is our curve c1 and and its tangent is this one curve so the angle it is forming with the positive axis is let us call it phi 1 okay so this is your angle it is making with the positive x axis and your second tangent is this one and this angle let us call it phi 2 and the angle which we, are, uh, we, have, we have to find is this one this is let us call it theta okay so uh, uh, from, from some basic geometry uh, techniques we have to find the relation between phi 1 phi 2 and, and theta so as you can see clearly we can if you could remember if you remember your external angle property of any triangle so you can see this is your triangle and this is your exterior angle so phi 1 will be equal to theta plus phi 2 okay phi 1 will be theta plus phi 2 from your exterior exterior angle property okay exterior angle property okay but we are interested in, in theta only so theta will be uh, i will take this on the left hand side phi 1 minus phi 2 now we can what we can do we can take the tan of both sides so tan theta will be tan of phi 1 minus phi 2 so tan theta will be now we can we can use the formula of tan a, a minus b which is tan a minus tan b over 1 plus tan a times tan b so this is your so tan theta equal to and this is what this is clearly your the dy over dx of your first curve okay c1 and similarly this is your dy over dx of second curve c2 similarly 1 plus dy over dx of c1 times dy over dx of c2 so this is your formula for the angle and you can also see that the second angle the other angle between these two tangents is it is pi minus theta okay so we have we have two angles theta and pi minus theta so whichever will be a, our shorter which will be whichever will be our less between these two we will consider this to be the angle between this curve because the angle okay the angle between the any two curve is always taken the the smallest of the two angles okay and that's why whichever will be a smaller that angle will consider it to be the angle between these two curves okay so now i have told you the formula of how to calculate the angle let us do one question okay from which you can 
uh, more clearly get you can you can get how we have to solve the questions so let us x y equal to 6 be the first curve and x square y be the second curve we have to find the angle between them first of all we have to find the dy over dx of both curves so i am differentiating this 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 curve it will be x dy over dx we will use our okay first of all x will be constant and we will differentiate y then plus y will be constant we will represent x which is 1 equal to 6 sorry equal to 0 the constant the differentiation of constant is 0 so y will be minus x dy over dx okay or dy over dx will be equal to minus y over x then no, no sorry, sorry first of all we have to find the, the intersecting point so uh, for that we will we will do x equal to 6 over y okay we will now we will put this value here 6 over y square times y equal to 12 36 over y square into y equal to 12 12 3 zero. so from here y, y equal to 3 okay now we can put y in any of the equation above so let me write the x y equal to 6 we have to put put y equal to 3 here so x into 3 equal to 6 it implies x equal to 2 so our our so our point of intersection is is 2 2 comma 3 uh, now i have already find um, found the dy over dx of the first curve which is minus y over x okay equal to minus y over x uh, now i have to find dy over dx at this point 2 comma 3 I will just put the value of y and x here minus y y which means 3 over x it is 2 so th this is your dy of dx of first curve ok and similarly the second curve over x square y equal to 12 now again we will use the product tool x square times dy over dx plus y times 2x equal to 0 ok so our dy over dx will be equal to minus 2xy over x square equal to minus 2y over x now our dy over dx at the point 2 comma 3 will be equal to minus 2 into 3 over x which is 2 equal to minus 3 now we can use this formula ok it will be 10 theta it will be ok minus 3 over 2 minus minus 3 upon 1 plus dy over dx of c1 into dy by dx of into t minus 3 into minus 3 over 2 equal to minus 3 over 2 plus 3 1 um, negative negative will be, will be positive 1 plus 9 over 2 now it will be minus 3 plus 6 over 2 lcm whole upon 9 plus 2 over 2 this will get cancelled out it will be 6 minus 3 will be 3 over 11 so our tan theta comes out to be 3 over 11 or we can say that our theta is 10 inverse 3 over 11 ok now you can use your scientific calculator for this for for finding this value in either in degrees or in radians or you can just leave it like that also you will not your marks will not get deducted okay so so that's it guys for today's video we learned what it meant when we say the angle of intersection of two curves it was nothing but the when we we will draw the tangents at their point of intersection on both the curves then the angle between the tangents that is theta will be their angle of intersection we learned the formula for finding uh, the angle and we just solve one question for, for saying how uh, for analyzing how we, how we can use this formula and this technique for solving problems so thank you guys for this is this is it for today's video and you can like or subscribe the channel also if you like it so bye bye take care